Okay, this video is about voltmeters. Voltmeters measure the potential difference or voltage between two points on a circuit. Uh, the symbol for a voltmeter is a circle with a V in the middle, and it has two terminals or two leads coming from it, positive and a negative. Red is generally positive, and black is generally negative. Uh, we always are going to measure voltage in parallel, not in series. And that's because voltage is constant in parallel. And we're going to look at an example of why that's necessary a little bit later. Uh, an ideal voltmeter has infinite resistance. And that's so that the circuit is not changed. Uh, in reality, of course, voltmeters have, can't have an infinite resistance, but they do have a very, very high resistance. And that means that almost no current is going to run through the path that our voltmeter takes. So let's take a look at a real circuit um, and see how connecting the voltmeter in different ways affects it. So here we have a simple series circuit. There's a 10 volt EMF and we have a 3 ohm and 7 ohm uh, resistor in series with one another. Uh, that's 10 ohms total of resistance so we can predict a total current of 1 amp. Um, that also means that uh, we should be getting 3 volts across this 3 ohm resistor. 1 amp times 3 ohms gives us 3 volts. Um, that's what we predict. But if we're going to measure the, three ohm, the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor, uh, let's take a look at the correct and incorrect way to do it. Here on the left, we have the correct way to do it. Uh, we connect our voltmeter here in parallel with our 3 ohm resistor. Um, and because our voltmeter has an infinite resistance, or very close to infinite, very high, that means the current that runs through this, uh, the voltmeter itself, is incredibly small, very, very small, which means all of the original current is going to go straight down through that 3 ohm resistor as always. Um, and since the voltage is constant and parallel, we haven't changed the circuit at all, we're still going to measure 3 volts across this resistor. So connect our voltmeter in parallel. Here's the wrong way to connect a voltmeter. Uh, and this is a voltmeter connected in series. Uh, if we connect our voltmeter in series here, that's before or after our 3 ohm resistor, well, our voltmeter has a very, very, very high resistance. So that means that there's going to be such a high resistance, there's going to be basically no current that comes from the uh, comes from the battery, goes through the circuit. Um, so we've completely changed the circuit. We're going to get an incorrect value. Um, the, the reading that we're actually going to get from the voltmeter is, should be the same as the EMF of the battery. And that's because uh, since the resistance of this voltmeter is so high, then the voltage drop is going to be huge compared to the voltage drop of these two resistors. So it's basically going to, the drop across it is going to be the same as the EMF of the battery. Either way, this, this doesn't really make sense because when we take potential difference, we measure across uh, from two points. So if we want to measure the potential difference of this 3 ohm resistor, we've got to measure across that 3 ohm resistor. Uh, one final note. Uh, you notice on my voltmeters, I've labeled a positive and a minus sign. That's to indicate the polarity of the voltmeter. Uh, if you reverse the polarity, uh, the magnitude of the voltage won't change, but the sign of the potential difference, the sign of the voltage, will reverse. Um, that's how you use a voltmeter.